Okay, for our start today, Shad PS4 video. If you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe, and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel. Just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide, and it really helps out my channel too, for which I really appreciate. So we're looking at Shad PS4 today, and this is a first for my channel. I've never covered PlayStation 4. So Shad PS4 is totally experimental at the moment, but it's getting better and better over time. So I thought I'd just make a video to show my subscribers and passers by how good this really is at such early stages. You can actually grab the emulator itself. I'll leave the link in my description from ShadPS4.net. If you go to the download section, you're going to find several versions here. So we got two versions for Windows, we got Linux, and we got Ubuntu. So the version I'm using today is the QT version of this for Windows. So the QT version is going to give us a GUI. So a little bit more to look at, whereas the regular version just here isn't going to give you that. So I've downloaded the Win64 QT version, and here it is on my desktop. So if I just open this up, you'll download, like I have, a zip folder. I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop and I'm going to call this Shad PS4. Now like I said it's a very experimental emulator but it gets better and better. In fact so much better that Bloodborne is on the way to actually being a fully playable game by the seems of it. Like I say it's getting better and better as the days go on. So what I've done is just extracted everything into that folder and I've got Sonic Mania, which runs pretty much 100%, apart from a couple of minor glitches. But the team behind Shad PS4 are actually working on this. So I've got package files for this. I've got two of them. What I'm going to do is just pop them into that Shad PS4 folder I've just made. So let's actually open up the emulator. So shadps4.exe. Windows protected your PC. Just go to more info, run anyway. And here we go. So first thing you're going to see is it wants a directory location to install games. If we just go on these little dots here, left click, I'm going to store this in my game data folder. Select folder and OK. And here we go. So this is the Shad PS4 GUI. Now, if we go to view just here, we can go to themes and we can make this look a little bit nicer or customize it. What we're really interested in for this is actually seeing the game work. So to do this, we're going to go to File, Install Packages, and I put my game, my dot .package, in here. So I'm going to double left click Sonic Mania. Game successfully installed. Now I've also got another package while to go with this, which is an update for Sonic Mania. So again, File, Install Packages, and this time I'm going to select the update file. Patch detected. Okay. Yes. And here we go then. So if I just boot up the game just to make sure everything's working. So I'm going to left click on it and then go to the play button. Sega! And as you can see, incredible stuff. So let's go into the user folder. And if we open up the config.toml, so I'm going to right click, edit in notepad. If we just expand this, 
we got lots of things we can change here so you just notice through the gameplay that's only in window mode if you want full screen just backspace full screen false and type in true you've got various different video options here too under gpu so once you've saved your settings and you've done this and that all you need to do next is go to file and just drop down to save now if i open up the emulator again so back down to shab ps4 and if I left click on Sonic Mania and go it to play. Here we go, we're now in full screen mode. And that's it for today's Shad PS4 setup guide, a little showcase. So as you can see, Sonic Mania performs really well. It looks even better and actually doesn't lag so much once you put that into full screen mode. Also remember that Shad PS4 is a very early stage emulator. So don't expect to be running Killzone or any of those AAA titles. I'll leave the link in my description so you can download Shad yourself. And it isn't just Sonic Mania which is performing well, but there are several indie type games which are also running well as well. Although I've only just covered Sonic Mania for this. Anyways, if you liked today's video, hit the notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. Also join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.